Gopi, how are yeah. you? Yeah, fine. Sir. So, Gopi, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, myself, Gopi Krishnanunna. So, I have uh, five years of experience in uh, like SQL technology at the rate of uh, MSBI. Okay. In Infosys. Right. Later, I went to the UK. So, did some admin related non IT job. Okay. Uh, so, I came to the here. So, for my H1B work is fine. Okay. So, have you done the first project, right? Yes. So, what are the major issues you have been faced? And uh, could you please briefly explain about the pro what you understand about the project? Yes. I mean, if you have, you can, uh, you want, you can take it. So, basically, we have different connections in first project. So, okay. whatever topics we have did as of now. Okay. Uh, it means we have to connect further. We have to take for the VPC okay. for connection purpose. Then, okay. whatever the requirement is for the to take the private subnets, pu public subnets and private subnets. Mm -hmm. So, based on the public sub subnets. Okay. How many public and how many private in the uh, in, uh, architecture? Yes, we can create for the two public subnets okay. and four for the private subnets. Okay. Here we have one condition is there. For uh, public connects, we can go with for the web tier. Okay. Okay. This is for three tier project, right? Okay. So we can uh, proceed with the web tier web for tier. public subnets. Okay. And coming for the app tier in second step. Okay. It means to con uh, to connect the private subnets okay. in app tier. Okay. Later we can for the database, right? So okay. then here uh, we connect for the two more. Okay. Private. That is uh, a single DB or a multiple DB or a three tier uh, yes, cluster. We choose for the multi agent. Uh, multi DB. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Basically, we have three types of right. We can okay. connect. We choose for the multi. Multi. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Here we connect for the two uh, private. Multi DB. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is for RDS multi multi okay. we choose for that. Okay. Uh, first, as per the web tier, so we create for the subnets and um, instances and Fine. whatever the subnets we created, we added the root tables and okay. association. Okay. We do the some pr process. Okay. Okay. okay now, traffic in the okay. uh, uh, roadmap. And coming to the later, whenever we finish the connections and everything, okay. then we choose for the. Uh, like uh, like target groups, we mm -hmm. can for the maintain the load balancer. Okay. Okay. Here we we choose the two load balancers. Okay. And two uh, say one is fine for uh, web tier and app tier. Another security group we can create for the database purpose. Database purpose. Okay. Fine, fine. And at the same time we create for the auto scaling. Auto scaling. Auto -scaling yeah. Fine. These all pro these all steps we can maintain okay. in auto scaling. Okay. So, for perfect, with the help of this three-tier architecture, okay. uh, can this application can be maintained high available and scalable? High of available course, and yes. scalable? Yes, it's okay, maintaining fine. for the high available and scalable. scalable. Okay. For the reliability, so, yes. Okay, fine. So, what are the issues you have been faced while doing yes. this? Yes, while connecting to, uh, initially, mm -hmm. while connecting to the public to public is completely fine. Okay. Whenever we connect for the private to pub public, okay. so uh, I have been some little bit issues related to the uh, connection wise okay. and uh, I did mistake in um, uh, connections in all traffic. I choose for the whatever we did in VPC tiring, VPC okay. uh, peering. Okay. So we cross uh, give the for the those IP addresses. Okay, so fine. it will be some little bit trouble for us. Okay. Later we decided to okay this is the issue for us. Then okay. we can clear for the sign. Then connection wise public to private. Okay. Later whatever the private subnets we created, we check everything. Okay, it's fine, fine connection fine. wise. Okay. Yeah, this so, is the we did as of now three tier oh, architecture. So, what is the major difference between EC2 and Lambda? Yeah, EC2 we can create create for the servers purpose, purpose. and Lambda is nothing but it's a purely serverless. Serverless. Okay, whatever we did, whatever we are doing in Lambda, it's completely serverless okay. by using commands. Uh, it's called as a scripts as well. Okay. We ex we deploy in the scripts in Lambda. Yeah, okay. So moreover, this is for the uh, reliable and scalable as well. Okay. Server we can connect with the so, whatever. Okay. Uh, if uh, the main, the company concern is to reduce the cloud cost. Okay. So which one your option? Either you want to go with the Lambda and you are going to go in the EC2 instance. Uh, Lambda is best for the. Okay. Serverless, right? Serverless. It's, the cost offensive also, okay. it's best to choose Lambda. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So now, what are the storage services you have in uh, S3? What are the yeah. storage classes we have in S3? Storage classes. classes. Here we have uh, around six classes, six classes. there. Yes. Uh, standard, standard frequent access, okay. uh, standard infrequent access, okay. and internet tiring. Uh, intelligent. Uh, sorry, for uh, intelligent tiring. Okay. And one zone uh, uh, in 
infrequent access okay another one is the glacier access glacier uh deep glacier deep glacier deep yeah, okay. glacier deep and glacier deep okay. so which one is expensive storage class which one is yes. cheaper storage class here the expensive is the frequent access okay. if it's expensive okay. but it's a, it means a very effective to work as a database to store for the okay fine so uh, <clears throat> what make s3 become so popular what features make s3 become so popular yes s3 is nothing but we can store the data okay, okay. it's in different classes is there okay, okay? uh in the classes we choose for the which one is best whatever the infrequent access okay fine i'm not asking about the class what the features make s3 so popular like versioning static web hosting yes, yes. those, yeah, those yeah, are yeah, yeah, yes, features exactly. so what features make s3 we have so different popular? types of benefits in choose s3 like okay. versioning static web hosting okay. multi, like cross reason replica okay uh at the rate of, at the same time yeah this we have some more as well okay. uh coming to the versioning so when we are trying fine, to, fine, fine. yeah okay uh now what is actually terraform why we need to use terraform exactly so we have market many options is the terraform and um, pulumi and all okay we can choose terraform because it's a uh, completely whatever we are creating in uh, like services and everything we are using gui yeah gui okay. here everything is a command line interface okay. script script wise okay. yeah command we can use for the scripts okay. for for example in uh, like server services we created for the service we can't use next time for example server yes here the main advantage is one single uh, script we can use multiple times. multiple times for that script is properly architecture it means okay. the demand properly written then it can able then to it, we can use, use it for how many times, times. that okay. is the main advantage okay okay to use terraform okay and moreover what the time consumption is also very easy okay there uh, we can create the step by step network subnets okay. but here we have structure like we can follow that structure whatever the requirement for example sir ec2 instance we select ami and like instance okay, type okay. at the same time vpc also okay. we have particulars only not okay. for the everything okay. launch create there okay. is nothing is so uh, perfect so what is the com uh, uh, command by when do you use the command called refresh yes for example in aws or something console if anything update we can choose manually refresh button or something but in terraform we have some command okay terraform refresh okay. so whenever anything update okay. like any modifications or something okay. we can use for the refresh option terraform refresh okay. we can execute for that okay what is terraform validate yeah. what it do we have some steps is there terraform uh, like in e terraform validate coming to the validate whatever we are giving for this it's validating is it is it success or not okay the script is val yeah, correctly yeah. as per the whatever content we put in there okay. that is valid, valid or, or not if fine. it's not valid they clearly throw the error, error. it means okay. something is happened you okay. can check for the